Yeah, that's what happens. But also, why didn't he go up? Why didn't Kane go up and, t you know, I don't know. He should have gone up and told one of Dana's the cor corny guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anything. Why did the chicken cross the street? Something to kind of just divert away for a moment and also look chivalrous and help her out. went on for a around. while. Right. Give yeah, her a we did. I, we just showed, I mean, we could. We would have had a seven-minute segment to show the whole thing, so we can only show. You had to cut it. We had to cut it yeah. uh, for time, for space. One, seven minutes. was it just a cough or could it be something she more sinister? <laughs> yeah, like a vast right wing insane. conspiracy. I think that could be the problem. I think he's got that. She definitely, whatever virus it is, she's caught it. Look I mean, it's, it's to me, it's whatever intriguing. Whatever virus this bitch got, the, she got you know, it. And this opponents, is the motherfucker that I've been cussing Rudy out on Giuliani, the news every day. They keep saying, "Oh, go check on her." I just don't get it. The, you know, the fact checkers, the doctors. It's just no comparison. And by comparison, when you look at that note on Donald Trump's health, he'd be the healthiest president ever, signed by a guy named. I was a Dr. Bornstein, and, and what he did was he said, oh, I just flipped this off in five minutes while a car was waiting, and Trump recorded. You think, well, that's a joke. But again, it's the low bar Trump is held to versus anything Hillary does, call out the five alarms. Well, why, why can't they just have an objective person, uh, like, like I mean, that uh, they if both candidates go, and, I mean, that would solve everything. And that's the worst yeah, thing to right do right when right you're right having right a right 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 Kind of remember what they want to hear. Forty <laughs> times in the, in the span of a couple hours, she couldn't remember something. She also had head trauma. Remember, she was supposed to testify in Benghazi, but she had, she had the fall and she had head trauma, and she had to delay the testimony. When she finally did testify, she had to come back with. Remember, one of her one of the lenses on her glasses was darkly shaded. Rand Paul, who who, who was a, a, a a surgeon, said that's likely due to some sort of head trauma that she took to the brain. The, yeah. the shell, the covering of the brain well, underneath the underneath the skull. So there may be some trauma. So call it what you want. Call it right, vast right wing conspiracy. But when things happen where you're, you're electing the next most powerful human being on the planet, you want to make sure that everything is okay. I'm not suggesting it's not, but let's make sure. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that that should be the same for Hillary and the same for Trump. The note is the thing that freaks me out, just the way her car, I mean, the cough was a little bit alarming, but I don't know how a cough I goes with a I don't concussion. See how, I, don't, I just don't see how it's alarming. I mean, I, the concussion thing, I. I grant you, like that, would you'd want to like check that out? Like, yeah. if she can't remember all these things in an FBI interview, mm -hmm. and she had said she was perfectly fine, but then she's blaming the concussion yeah. in the FBI interview. I think that's suspect, but I don't see how a cough and a concussion are related. Mm -hmm. And it does scream of like they can't say Lady, she was born in Nigeria or like suggest that. So like now the suggestion is, oh, okay, well maybe she's gonna die. You know, know this is, it, is, it does seem a little bit absurd. But the health issues and presidents are always absurd. Do you guys remember when President Bush was watching the football game and ate a pretzel and it went down the wrong way and it was like international news for five days yeah. because he choked on a pretzel. Remember the older oh, was the elder Bush threw up in well, Japan? Yes, and then there were all the conspiracies about that. That's why I could never be. But the president. point is, you should check out the health. Make sure anybody who's running for president does have a clean bill of health. It's but the important standard, but by that standard, she she's met the standard. She gave the note from her long-term doctor. He no, he no, sends in a doctor. I think she's like, no, 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 but I, 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 love, I love the conspiracy stuff about, oh, the, the Secret Service agent is really carrying some kind of pen in case she has a seizure. Oh, that bulk on the back of her, Dana, you must have heard this one. The bulk on the back of her, that's a defibrillator in case she has a seizure. Oh, it just goes that. to such extremes. It's yeah. nutty. All right, that's we got to move on. We got so much more. Clinton and Trump go to war over. So now you fucking crazy if you believe that Hillary Clinton's having health problems. You seeing a bitch having a, on her plane cough so bad, she had to walk off. To go throw the fuck up. So if you believe one uncle, aka uncle fucking ruckus, man, go vote for her so she can fucking do the same shit to y'all that she doing to her fucking kids behind the fucking scenes, petting them like dogs and shit. That's what you want. No more wire hangers. And admirals, they signed an open letter urging voters to elect the Republican nominee. Both candidates addressed it today. 
We really appreciate all of those generals and admirals that today endorsed me. These are our fighters. These are our fighting generals. And and uh, there are actually a lot more to come. I now have more endorsements from retired flag officers than any Democrat other than an incumbent president has ever had. Compare where Trump is with where both Romney and McCain were. They had between 300 and 500. I'm doing better than any Democrat. He's doing worse than recent Republicans. Okay, so this Dana, she has her talking points ready there and, and the numbers. Do you think that this uh, helps Trump and is her statement against him showing to the contrary? I think the numbers helpful. get a little bit lost for people, like you won't necessarily, when you go to the poll, you don't necessarily remember, oh, he had 500, he had 300, 200, whatever. I think that gets a little bit lost. I do think that the ad was effective um, if you are targeting people who are on the fence um, and if you're in the military. The military has actually been pretty. Explain exactly what you mean by that. When you say national security posture, what do you mean? Well, <clears throat> we have to have a military that can implement our national policies. We have a military that is hurting for spare parts. We're cannibalizing aircraft to keep aircraft flying. The chief of staff of the Army has just testified before Congress saying that the Army is at risk. We, in general, have had mm -hmm. a bad time. This has been eight years, ten years of war. Our troops are worn out. It's just a matter that requires some adjustment that I think Donald Trump is the man to make, to make it. What has he done to reassure you? I, have you had any time with him? What did he do to reassure you that he had the temperament to do this, to be commander in chief? Well, I, you know, uh, some of this thing is, is a judgment call, but he's a strong leader. He's a nonsense sense leader. He's a successful businessman. He, he addresses issues that are important to me as a retired individual. Mm -hmm. That should be important to the, uh, any American citizen. What is your concern about Hillary Clinton when you pick Trump over her? You obviously must have had a concern. Is it, it sounds like it has to do with that she's just been part of the same foreign policy establishment or is there something more? No, I think with, uh, with Mrs. Clinton is that we've had the Clintons, the Obamas, the Bushes, the, the old suspects have been there, they tried it, they had their chance, and uh, we're just in deep, digging ourselves deeper into the hole. And there's nothing wrong with Mrs. Clinton. She's an honorable woman, has baggage, but I just think that Donald Trump is a better choice. <laughs> the old man says she got baggage. <laughs> and a lot of it is judgment call. You got that right. General Shack now, thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming on. And thank you for thank your you service. Very